A black hole is one of the terrifying things that humanity has discovered. Whether it's a galaxy or a star, they can consume it if it gets too close. But black holes are much more complicated than they look. The problem is that you need to study one up closely and precisely. Scientists have recently come up with this startling admission that they have successfully produced a black hole in the lab. Come along as we delve into the fascinating strange black hole. How would this affect science and technology in the future? Collectively, we're all aware that true black holes do exist. Let's get started. An intriguing event that almost has the power to make both science and the general public agree that they have supernatural abilities. The question is, black holes, what are they exactly? First, let's look at the relativity theory proposed by Einstein. Fourth dimension theory holds that the space and time are closely intertwined. As this is the case, gravity must be weaker than we had previously thought instead of warping time and space. It's best to picture the idea as a bowling ball resting on the surface of a trampoline. While a ball is rolling across a flat surface, it causes the surface to dip, trapping any nearby items that are too small to avoid being crushed. Black holes function similarly, but their infinite density results in a void in space-time that defies comprehension. The idea of a black hole was initially proposed by English natural philosopher John Mitchell in 1783, opening a new field of study. He postulated that the presence of a star around one of these black holes would expose the presence of the black hole's strong gravitational field. This prediction was confirmed in the early 1970s when an unseen object was discovered by astronomers Paul Murden, Thomas Bolton, and Lewis Webster, orbiting a blue star 6,000 light years away. It is commonly acknowledged that Cygnus X1 was the first black hole to be found. According to astronomers, there are 400 million of them in our Milky Way alone. Nonetheless, at least a trillion galaxies in the universe are known to contain supermassive black holes. These mysterious particles negatively impact more than just matter and energy, they might also emit radiation outside the event horizon. Black holes are ubiquitous in the universe, yet their nature remains a mystery. Considering how much strength must be contained in them, it's astonishing. Researchers have been trying to understand these mysterious celestial bodies and their tremendous force for years. The only thing left to do is ponder in amazement at the ever-expanding knowledge about black holes and what mysteries they may hold. There is no end to the possibilities. How do you go about learning more? Being able to look at it properly is impossible. Now, you may be wondering why. Why can't we send a probe into a black hole and get some answers? If someone were to get too close, what would happen? This question can only be answered by learning more about the region of space right around a black hole. An event horizon defies the boundary beyond which light cannot escape a black hole. Crossing this event horizon is necessary if you approach very close to a black hole and go deep towards the center or point. So, time passes more slowly the closer you are. Near the event horizon, the strongest gravitational forces in the cosmos become active and change everything. This suggests that you should keep going deeper and further into the red. Eventually, your surroundings will distort to the point that they look like a black hole until it's no longer recognizable. At this moment, the strong gravity is expected to begin ripping things apart. Anything at all in its path can be torn to shreds by it. When you pass the black hole's event horizon and descend into its depths, light from distant galaxies will rush through the window. You can see the entire history of the cosmos across billions of years from this point. Seeing the cosmos in this way is like nothing else. If you pass through this area, the immense gravitational forces will tear and deform you until you are shattered into tiny fragments and spread around the singularity. Nothing but void would be left as a sobering reminder of the black hole's destructive potential. No human has ever made the trip towards a black hole. It's fascinating to imagine the possibilities if we crossed the event horizon and saw what lies beyond. A dimension where space and time are warped and deformed in ways beyond our comprehension. This bizarre phenomenon has fascinated scientists for decades and we can only fully understand it if we continue to probe its mysteries. Indeed, that's where the black hole we created in the lab comes in handy. Using cutting-edge technology, researchers have created conditions in the lab similar to those during the birth of the black hole. They generated an event horizon by building one network of atoms and enabling electrons to pass from one place to the next, which disrupted the wave-like structure of electrons and results in a temperature rise as predicted by the black hole. It's well known that increasing the power causes things to heat up. This experiment replicates the natural process that scientists believe occurred during the early stages of the universe's development. Particles are birthed from the disruptions in quantum fluctuations that lead to the shredding of space-time by black holes. These perturbations behave like little ripples on a pond, spreading outward from the black hole's center. 
Scientists split their experiment into two phases. They began by suspending several rubidium atoms in such a cloud of sub-zero temperatures, reducing a linear chain strikingly similar structure to a black hole. Scientists then let electrons hop from atom to atom, creating a temperature like a black hole's. The researchers then utilized a laser to mimic the equilibrium in quantum fluctuations that would cause a black hole's force of gravity in the second portion of their experiment. This caused a burst of particles, also known as Hawking radiation, which emitted light in the visible spectrum that could be observed. The experiment, which used methods currently standard in quantum physics investigations, demonstrates the feasibility of producing a black hole in a controlled environment. The simulated event has significantly less impact in scale than in space, but it does accomplish a necessary goal, knowledge of matter dynamics and the region surrounding a black hole. We can learn much about physics, cosmology and astronomy from the experiment's results. The most important aspect is that it may be used to test theories on the behaviour of stuff in the vicinity of black holes, something that has never been possible before. The sheer size, power and danger that black holes pose make them an extremely important topic. Dark energy is speculated to play a crucial role in developing the cosmos. Thus, it would be useful to learn more about the behaviour of particles generated by Hawking radiation. The results of this experiment are very astonishing. Scientists can now take a smaller step closer to solving the secret of black holes and the cosmos. This is an enormous step forward in our understanding. It promises to lead to many fascinating discoveries in the upcoming years. The capacity to create a black hole artificially has allowed scientists to observe and analyse these things for the first time. Creating a black hole in a controlled environment would allow us to see the transformation of high matter under extreme conditions. As a result, this can dramatically alter how we conceptualise the basic rules underpinning our universe. Not only would the creation of a black hole allow for the safe study of such unusual things, but it would also provide us access to one of the most potent types of energy now at our disposal. The energy emitted by the Hawking process is produced from black holes. It has tremendous potential as a renewable energy source. The energy released by a black hole, weighing only one kilogram, might exceed 10,000 times the annual US electrical demand. The possible future of scientific process to say this is shocking would be an understatement. Understanding the physical principles of the cosmos would require studying and analysing the behaviour of matter in difficult situations. Suppose we learn more about the mechanics of time travel. In that case, we can find alternative forms of energy make strides in disciplines like quantum computing and even establish if time travel is possible. Furthermore, making a black hole could provide a once-in-a-lifetime chance to learn more about the cosmos and devise methods for detecting and avoiding cosmic hazards like asteroids and comets. This will help safeguard humanity from future extinction-level catastrophes. To summarise, if a black hole could be created artificially, it would herald a new period for scientific discovery and finding techniques. It would allow us to conduct in-depth studies and observations of these enigmatic objects, use Hawking radiation to power space exploration, and help save the planet by identifying any potential cosmic dangers. A black hole could be the classic Pandora's box necessary to reset Earth's systems to safe operating parameters. Having said that, we understand just how hazardous the black hole can be, so we may not want to take any chances. In the meantime, hit the subscribe button below and leave a comment with your thoughts. Thanks for watching, see you next time.